<laughs> Thanks a lot for watching our video today, friends. Today, the beautiful desert, Bandit meets a new friend, and tires again with the tires? Oh my word. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. It's another stormy day in Slab City. We kind of are going back and forth. Stormy, sunny, stormy, sunny. And it's almost six o'clock. So the sun is low in the sky and peeking out underneath the clouds over in the west. But it's creating a really dramatic view out to the east, lighting up the mountains like they have a spotlight on them, which I guess they kind of do. <laughs> and with dramatic dark sky behind them, just one of the beautiful things that you see out in the desert. This is how I exercise my dog. See him stalking that fly on the inside of the window screen? Oh, he's just waiting for it to get close enough that he can pounce. Yeah. There, he got it. I think he got it. Oh, yeah, he thinks he's got it. He thinks he's got it. Did you get it, Bandit? Did you get it? Did you get it? Uh, I don't know, Papa. Uh, quit talking to me. I got to concentrate on this. Uh, I think I got it, but, but, but I don't know for sure yet. Okay. Well, you keep trying. <laughs> oh, exercising the dog when you live in an RV. Well, this dog has been trying to make friends with Bandit ever since we've been here. And it's been almost a week now, and I've been keeping him away and keeping him away, and he seems real gentle. And uh, Bandit's trying to hump him. Bandit! <laughs> Bandit doesn't really have that much experience around other dogs except for Rosie and Abe. Um, I guess he had enough of the humping and now he's off. <laughs> We're playing real nice together and uh, he's a bigger dog but he's been been gentle. So let's see how they do. They seem to get along real well. The bigger dog is uh, not a real big dog. He's medium size, but he's much bigger than Bandit. And uh, Bandit just pesters him a little too much, so he <laughs> goes out and stands just a little bit farther than Bandit's leash will let him go. <laughs> But they, uh, they seem to be getting along just fine. And so after a week of trying to keep him away, today I just uh, pretty much uh, let them get to know each other. Bandit! A bandit's been fixed, so he doesn't have any uh, mating desire in his trying to hump the new friend. But um, but humping is a uh, is an activity of dominance. He's trying to assert his dominance, even though he's about uh, twenty percent of the size of the other dog so I don't know I'll let him play a little bit and uh, 
and they'll get tired of one another for now or uh, maybe I'll just put bandit inside if I need to <laughs> don't go away now the great tire fiasco's coming up coming into slab city this tire right here went totally flat and you can see what a piece of junk tire it is look over here how deep those treads are and look over here how there's no tread at all it's just totally worn away on the inside you sort of expect to see that sometimes on tires that are on the front of a rig uh, when they are uh, out of alignment, not in proper camber, riding on one side or the other. But that's not the case with this tire. It's been uh, the outside rear of a uh, dually pair for, uh, uh, gee, a couple years now. And we unloaded uh, the storage compartments underneath the Millennium Falcon in the basement to uh, to lighten the load. And because uh, my jack is only a two-ton jack, so that's the reason that we did that. And then it turned out my jack wasn't working properly. So my neighbor, Rich, who was a trucker for 15 years, and he's changed his share of tires. He came over and brought his jacks and and actually uh, pretty much did all the work. I guess he just got involved in doing the work and uh, didn't feel like it was necessary to switch off or something. But uh, anyway, he came over and uh, pretty much... Uh, did all the work and took uh, that tire off right there and uh, and guess what I didn't even know I had a spare underneath but there's my spare and it was uh, it was underneath in the spare tire storage spot and uh, he found it rich found it and so uh, we'll be able to use that uh, to get down to the tire store there it is. <laughs> okay, well. so this is Rich. He's my uh, he's my neighbor out here in the slabs. We're we're kind of uh, way away from the rest of the community out here by ourselves. And uh, fortunately for me, he's had a lot of experience uh, changing uh, tires on trucks, and and um, he uh, had uh, jacks that uh, worked better than my jack, and so that helped. Uh, it's a real lesson to me. I'm going to have to uh, get uh, more emergency equipment and make sure I carry it. But uh, anyway, thank you so much, Rich. Not a problem at all. For your help. Appreciate it a good deal. And uh, for your work, uh, actually doing all the work, changing it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Well, I've dealt with it before. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again. I got the air pump out and... Uh... That tire had uh, 20 pounds of 20-year-old uh, air, <laughs> partially inflating it. And so now we got to get another uh, 60 pounds of uh, 2020 air pumped into it in order for it to be up to uh, the right pressure. Today... We have to drive into El Centro. It's about uh, 30 miles from Slab City. And uh, look at some new tires. That tire that we took off of the Millennium Falcon yesterday is just a nasty, nasty tire. Looks like it had been on the front for a while, a, a front of a rig that was out of alignment, which... <laughs> may have been this one anyway so off we go and uh god willing we'll have a safe and pleasant journey <laughs> uh we made it the 31 miles to uh the discount tire in el centro without incident the uh spare tire held up just fine got me here just fine i was real happy for that 
So uh, it's going to cost me a whole bunch of money. Uh, I decided to go ahead and just replace all of the rear tires that uh, that I've had uh, so much trouble with. The uh, two on the front were new last fall up in Las Vegas when I had the blowout. Uh, their discount uh, from discount tire and so now I'll have four in the back from discount tire and uh, I'll get their insurance and flat repair program uh, on all of them so uh, that's where we're at that's what we're doing yabba dabba do and uh, I'm eager to get back on the road get back to Slab City <laughs> ready is popping the bandit we're in El Centro California these are the guys that did a great job at Discount Tire, fixing my flat tire and, and selling me new tires. These guys are awesome. Anybody out there need tires, it's Discount Tire in El Centro. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video today. We get back on the road and headed back towards Slab City, where we pass by two different Walmarts go in to resupply a couple of things and find empty shelves in both of them. Oh my goodness. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell now.